The first National Olympics team to arrive in Japan since the games were postponed touched down on Tuesday. Australia's softball squad waved to the media before making their way to a nearly two-month training camp in central Japan. Everyone on their team and their coaching staff has been vaccinated, and officials say they'll be required to take a COVID-19 test every day of their stay. Before they left home, Australia's Olympic team leader Ian Chesterman said the squad was comfortable with Japan's protocols to protect them and locals. And I think that these athletes as well know that they have to take great responsibility for their own behaviour as well. They're committed to do that. Uh, they're committed to not only look after themselves, but do the right thing by the Japanese population as well and be ready for the Games. Uh. Meanwhile, Japan is battling a fourth wave of infections, with 10 regions, including Tokyo, under a state of emergency until near the end of this month. The country's vaccination rollout has also been slow, with only about 3 percent of the population fully vaccinated. Japan's Olympic teams will receive their jabs this week, while a top government spokesman said vaccinations at workplaces and universities will roll out near the end of this month. In a recent poll published by local media, a majority of Japanese people surveyed were against holding the games as planned. As for Australia's softball team, they're scheduled to play their opening game on July 21st against the host country, Japan. Thank you.